Hey math students, I hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I am going to show you how to graph circles. So if you see an equation in this form right here, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, the graph will be a circle and the center will be at the origin right here at zero, zero. And r represents the radius. So let's go over this here. Let's put in some numbers here. Let's say I had an equation like this. x squared plus y squared equals, how about 16? And I want to graph this equation here in blue. So make that to a little bit better here. There we go. So I want to graph this right here. So when you see it in this form, you will have a circle. The center will be at the origin at 0, 0 right here. And I'm actually going to write that. The center of the circle will be at 0, 0. Now the next step is to find the radius of the circle. And I'm going to go over what radius means in case you forgot it in a second. So to find the radius, it's a little tricky. You have to look at this piece of the, the equation. This is the radius squared. So really what's going on here is for this particular problem, the radius squared is 16. I'm actually going to write that down here. R squared equals 16 right here. So what would if R squared equals 16, what would R have to be? What number squared is 16? Hopefully you're thinking 4. Because 4 squared is 4 times 4, which equals 16. So the radius is 4. Now, this is where I see the biggest mistakes. A lot of students put that the radius is 16. But remember, this 16 represents the radius squared. So I'm really replacing the r with some number. So when I square it, I get 16. And that has to be 4. Again, you can check it again. 4 squared is 16. Now another way to do it is you could just take the square root of this number. And if you take the square root of 16, you'll also get 4. So there's more than one way to do this. Now we're ready to graph. Once we have the center and the radius, we can graph the circle. We have enough information right here. So let's go ahead and graph it using this information. So the center is at 0, 0 right here. I already graphed that. And the radius is 4. And the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So I'm going to go from the center and count off 4 units in each direction. Center, then 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll do it again. Center, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm just counting off 4 units in each direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I'm going to make my circle. And I'm pretty much finished at this point. I'm going to go over a couple things. I'll, I'll do the best I can to make my circle here. This will work. It's a little bit off, but I'll take it. And in other words, the graph of this equation right here, x squared plus y squared equals 16, looks like this. The center's right here at the origin, and the radius is 4. And let's make sure we got understand that the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So this is 4 units. This is 4 units. I don't have to even, um, I don't always have to use lines on the x and y axis. I can even maybe do it this way. Watch. I can do something like this. This would be 4, 2. Because remember, it's the distance from the center to the edge will always be 4. Now, careful here. You can't use the grid lines to figure out this is 4. If you really wanted to verify that this is 4, you'd have to use the Pythagorean theorem. But I'm not going to get into that right now. But I can promise you that no matter what segment you draw from the center to the edge, it could even be maybe right here, it will be 4 units. So I hope you found this little example helpful. Let, let's try another one just to make sure you've got it. Let's just change up the number here. Let's say instead of x squared plus y squared equals 16, it said x squared plus y squared equals, how about, I don't know, how about 36? Let's say it said that. All right, again, to graph this, the center would be at 0, 0. And what would the radius be? What would the radius of this circle be? 
Well, let's see, the radius squared is 36, so I gotta replace the radius with some number, so when I square it, I get 36. What do you think it would be? Hopefully you're thinking six, right? Because six squared is six times six, which is 36. And remember, the other way you could do it is you can simply take the square root of 36 to get six. And then we can just graph this. The center will be at the origin, right like so. And then we'll just mark off six in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it would be six here and six here, six here. And then you can make your circle like so. Well, let's see how I do on this one. So the circle is just bigger than the other one. That's all. And that would be the graph of this equation right here. X squared plus Y squared equals 36 is this circle. Now let's look at one more where it's not necessarily at the origin, the center. So remember when it's written in this form, it's at the origin, but you might see the standard form written like this as well. Instead of X squared plus Y squared equals R squared, it will look like this. X minus H squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now this is what the standard form will look like if the um, circle is not centered at the origin unless the h and the k are zero. If h and k are zero here, then it would be the same equation we dealt with before. It would just turn into x squared plus y squared equals r squared. But you're gonna see in this example, the h and the k will be numbers other than zero. And what you need to remember here is that the HK, that's where the center is. So the HK will be the center of the circle. Let me write it this way, actually. So the center will occur at H comma K. Keep that in mind if you're taking notes, you wanna write this down. It will occur at the values of H and K. So let's put in some numbers here to make it more clear. Let's say I had this equation right here, x plus 2 squared plus y, I don't know, how about minus 1 squared equals 9. All right, so what the first thing you want to do is identify the center. Now it's no longer at 0, 0. It's going to occur at hk, and your h value is here and your k value is here. So the center is going to occur at the values 2, 1, but you have to switch the signs. Don't forget to switch the signs here. So instead of plus 2, the h value will be minus 2. And the k value, this sign will switch as well. So instead of minus 1, you will put plus 1. So that's how you identify the center of the circle. And remember to switch the signs here. And now we just need to find the radius like before. What do you think it is? What do you think the radius is of this? Well, the radius squared is 9, right? R squared is 9. So what number squared equals 9? Hopefully you're thinking 3, right? Or in other words, I can just take the square root of 9, which is 3. And I'm ready to go. I can now graph this circle just like before, except the center is no longer here. It's going to be at this point, negative 2, 1. So remember, this is really a coordinate. It's an x, y coordinate. It just tells me to move left 2, up 1. So I'll go left 2, 1, 2, and up 1. Right here. Right from here. Left 2, up 1. That's my center. And now I just need to do the radius from this point now, not from the origin. It's 3. So I'll mark off three in each direction. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll make my circle. And I am finished. Like so. Do it as best as I can. There we go. So the graph of this equation right here x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 9 is this circle. The center is right here, 
at negative 2, 1. And you can see that the radius is 3. Watch, I'll just mark off these points here. This would be 3 in this direction. This would be 3. Or maybe here, this would be 3. Or I can even do maybe something like this. Like I explained earlier, this would be 3. So the distance from the center to any point on the edge will be 3 units. Well, I hope you found this really helpful. Have a great day.